Good evening, Happily Ever After fam. I am doing a video tonight about colors. So this is for puppy parents looking at the different colors that are available and what they look like as puppies. So I'm gonna start out with sable because this is a, a slightly different. And so this is a red sable. So a sable um, is in the same fam family as salt and pepper and liver pepper. Um, and it is one of the more rare colors that schnauzers come in. Um, and so this little guy um, is a sable and uh, he's actually one of our special needs puppies. So he uh, was born without an eye. Um, it's just an abnormality. There's nothing wrong with him. Everything is fine with him. He just didn't get one of his eyes. So um, he is super sweet. Um, and this is what sable looks like. So it has a red tone to the pepper. All right, little guy. And then I will, um, before I have any other bigger puppies out, uh, we'll talk about what salt and pepper looks like because that is the one color puppy I don't have at this time because these are just puppies we happen to have here. Um, and so this little guy is the same age as these puppies that are here. And this is a salt and pepper puppy that was produced here. And then this is a dark salt and pepper puppy that had a black mask that uh, was also born here. Um, this puppy was uh, seven weeks old. And then to show what a salt and pepper adult looks like, um, this is a salt and pepper that is a phantom. So he has the what would be the black and silver markings, but he is a gray color. So that is, uh, that covers our salt and pepper and sable. And then we'll talk about red, wheat, and white cream. So there's many different um, variations of this color. So this little girl is red. Um, they can be darker than her, um, but you see this red tone. And then if I hold her up, she is not appreciative <laughs> of me waking her up here. Um, next to her sister, who is a Wheaton, you see how this has a brown, more brown color to it than a red does. Um, so that's just showing, so you can see side by side, the difference in the color. And then we have the sister, who is a creamy white. Uh, cream can be a little darker than this. White can be a more bright white than this but all three of these girls are from the same parents, same litter. And then of course we have a brother who is a liver tan. So this guy is a phantom liver tan. So when we throw out the term phantom, that is just talking about how flashy they are. So you see how we have no other color in the mask. So the whole front of the face is cream. Uh, we have the cream legs. We have the chest piece and we have the eyebrows. And you can always tell if you look at a bum. So their bum is gonna be cream or white, silver, whatever color they are, their bum is going to be white. Um, so the reason that this is a liver pepper or a liver tan and not a liver pepper is because we don't have any banded hairs. So right here behind the ears and then on the side, all the color is the same. Um, and so that is how we can tell, even when they have eyebrows in the face, why we know that this is a liver tan and not a liver pepper tan. Um, and so going into that, I will grab <laughs> a liver pepper. So this little guy is a dark liver pepper. They can be darker and lighter, just like we talked about with the salt and pepper. So this, as we talked about the banded hairs on the ears and on the side, see how we have this when the hair is all the way back, you don't notice it as much, but when you pull it back, these are all banded hairs. Same thing behind the ears, these are all banded hairs. This puppy is gonna continue to lighten. So this is a liver pepper. 
So I always say it looks like a packet of hot chocolate. When you pour it into the mug before the water, you have all these different colors of brown. So this is a liver pepper. And Moses, you had the best timing. This guy is a liver. So we are liver. He does have white markings. So he has a little bit of white on his chest and a little bit of white on his toes. He is still just a liver. He is not a party because we do not have any, any white on the back. No spots, no nothing. Uh, just the piece on it is just a little bit of white on him. He is still a liver and livers can have green eyes. Um, they, uh, a black and black and silver cannot. Um, it's only a liver background that has the green or hazel or gold eyes. So then we'll go into a liver tan party, which is what this guy is. So this guy's a liver tan party. So see how we have a little bit of the uh, face part. You're not seeing any chest piece because he's white there, but you do see he has the eyebrows. He has no peppering behind the ears or on the side. So we know that he is definitely um, a party. But when you see on the back, we have white. A handsome boy. And of course we have the pretty green eyes. All right, Pixie, I need you, girlfriend. <laughs> oh. Just checking out her picture. Yeah. She's watching herself in the mirror. So she is a liver party. So you see we have liver on the back, but of course we also have the white. And she does not have eyebrows that have cream. So she is just a liver party. I know you're not appreciating that. But her brother is a black party. And I got you. <laughs> So he is a black party. So you see we have the uh, black and white on the back, but he also has ticking. So when you look at the bottom of these feet and you see this, it's very light ticking, but you see here how it almost has this, what we call a Sherpa look. So that is the ticking on the paws. Um, I have a picture here of a heavily ticked male that we had. He just basically almost looks gray. So, but flash, is just heavily ticked. So he, if he was shaved down, you would see just this little spots. And when he was a little boy, little puppy, um, he was mostly white. Looked like Princeton. Yep. And so, um, and then when you see, I also have a picture of a uh, salt and pepper party. So again, you have the banded hairs that shows you that it is a pepper. Um, you have the white and the white on the back. Um, but most of the back is salt and pepper. Um, and so this is a salt and pepper party. And last but not least, we have black and silver. And she is a phantom black and silver. I do, I wish I had just black and silver and liver tan, but not in a phantom form. So I could show it to you, but I do not. Um, maybe one day all the stars will align and I'll happen to have a puppy of every color at one time. <laughs> um, but this is a, uh, a black and silver. Um, and so we see that there is no banded hair on the sides. Um, and it's hard because she just got shaved, but not also not behind the ears. We see we have our little white butt. Um, and she has the eyebrows and the chest piece, the legs and the face. And of course this shows, uh, we have a very distinct line. So that's where you have this phantom. It's just this flashy, distinct markings. So I hope that, um, that this kind of helps you understand um, a little bit more about the color. Um, Polly, <laughs> I should have said not, you, weren't, you are the last and I'm really sorry. <laughs> I know, my little introvert. Um, so this little girl, <laughs> Princeton has my foot. <laughs> um, this little girl is black. Um, so uh, she is um, just black. Um, sometimes you see some blacks that almost have a red tone to them. Um, and the slang term for that is country black. Um, it almost looks just more faded. Um, but this little girl is black. She does happen to have a tiny white dot on her chest. 
um, and on her back toe. But the rest of her is jet black. And again, you're looking, we don't see any banded hairs. Her bum is black, nothing behind her ears, no eyebrows. So we are a black puppy. And of course we have brown eyes because we have a black face. Miss Polly. Um, but I hope this video allows you guys to get an idea of what the different colors look like, especially on a puppy. Um, when you, it, it is easier to find uh, a lot of pictures online of what these puppies look like when they are grown. We also have lots of pictures on our website um, of past puppies, parents, and things like that. But I feel that uh, when you look at liver pepper, salt and pepper, um, and you're seeing us throw out terms like a phantom salt and pepper or a dog salt and pepper, a platinum salt and pepper, and just all these different terms. And what, it, what do all those terms mean? So I'm hoping that this video kind of answers some of those questions. Um, I hope as we go on to do another video when we have a different set of puppies to actually show some of those differences of what a platinum liver pepper looks like versus a dark liver pepper um, and just some of those things. But I feel that it's second nature to us as breeders to know what these colors are and what they look like and I hope that this helps you guys get a better idea. Um, please make sure that you like our page, uh, invite your friends to like our page so that uh, we can continue getting the word out about ethical and healthy breeding, what that looks like, um, and also if you are interested in getting a puppy from us please send us a message. Um, don't comment below because we get in trouble for that. <laughs> so please uh, just send us a message. Um, you can also call us, uh, schedule an appointment to, um, to come out and meet us. And uh, as always, please, please, please definitely follow us so you can get more information. Um, you can check out our blog and our YouTube channel as well as of course Facebook page and Instagram. Have a good night.